Who would you like to see Donald Trump run with as vice president this time? It wasn't an insurrection. It was a staged riot. You're doing us no good. And don't, don't go back to your state. Uh... When asked about the 2024 Republican presidential hopefuls, this Trump supporter taps the two most unhinged candidates for the vice presidency. Watch this. Who would you like to see Donald Trump run with as vice president this time? People are talking about Carrie Lake and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Would you like that? Uh, Carrie Lake, probably, yeah. You think she'd make a good vice president? I think so. Or, uh, uh, what's his name? Who's the general? That Michael Flynn. Oh, Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn would be. He'd be a good vice president. This voter thinks MTG is too liberal for his Republican ticket. Yup, instead he opts for the conspiracy-laden election denier in Kerry Lake, who suffered an embarrassing loss in Arizona and humiliated herself even further by refusing to concede the race. Welp, she's on the campaign trail now, peddling the absurd theory that the Janie January 6th insurrection was a staged riot. Watch this. Well, I think Americans are coming around to the fact that it wasn't an insurrection. It was a staged riot. It was a staged riot to cover up the fact that they were going to certify a fraudulent election. And and here we're taking all of these people. Many of them did nothing wrong, sentencing them to long sentences in the D.C. gulag on January 6th. It wasn't as the media described it. It was not an insurrection. And many of the people were encouraged to go in by FBI informants. Well, hang on. And uh, also look, by I, let's the, not get uh, too far ahead of Carrie Lake's insane theories are a bizarre attempt at legitimizing her failed run for governor. But for some reason, Republicans consider that a plus when advocating for her place on their presidential ticket. But doubting the electoral process, Carrie Lake threatens the foundations of democracy to fashion a faulty claim to the throne. But the people have spoken, Carrie. They do not want you. And surprisingly, our second VP hopeful seems to agree. Up and lead. The political class in this country has crushed our country. Amen. And I know that there's, there's a few politicians that we had in here, you know, the last, over the last day here, you know, and, I, and I'm looking at them going, and I, I first thing I say is, are you a brand new politician or how long have you been in office? And if I hear they've been in an office for like, you know, more than a, a term or two, I'm like, you need to leave. You need to leave because you're doing us, you're doing us no good. And don't- Michael don't. Flynn in this absolutely stacked alt-right panel divests from American politics and proclaims that the age of the persisting Republican is over. And he's right, but his misguided frustrations stem from tired tactics that reheat Trump's former populism without reconciling with the political scars it left behind. At this point, people are craving fundamental change, not hysteria. And when you campaign like the alt-right Xerox of a Xerox, you get voted down. Isn't that right, Carrie? And Flynn, this is Adrian Costa with Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.